guys, it's Pia here! So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys my finished Aquarius custom. I wanted to explain a little bit about what I did with that one. And I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my next Zodiac custom, which will be Pisces, or the fish, if that's easier to remember. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you guys a few things about that one that I have in mind. Um, as you might know, I found this weird website that has all these flowers and colors that are related to all the zodiac signs, so um, I have a few things to say about Pisces and my plans for that one. I don't have anything completely um, solid for that d design yet, but I'm going to at least feel inspired by the things that were on that website. But yeah, before I start talking about Pisces, I'm just going to show you my little Aquarius that I finished a few days ago, and here it is! Ta-da! So, as you already know, I am making all of the zodiac signs from new LPS. Uh, some of them are from Generation 3. This one is a Generation 4 panda. If I get the generations wrong, um, I'm sorry, but this this is the one that's uh, currently in source, and uh, the one that I'm making Pisces from is actually one of the slightly older ones, but you would still consider them fairly new LPS. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, this one was made from a panda, obviously. Um, what I wanted to do here was that Aquarius's color apparently is sky blue, so I incorporated that in the dress and also on these details in the face and on the arms, and then the flower that was associated with Aquarius was orchid, so I put a little orchid there on the head. I didn't want it to be really overpowering, so I just kind of tried to do something um, slightly smaller with, with that flower on this one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to spin it around and talk you through it. Here's the symbol for Aquarius, in case you didn't know. Aquarius is usually portrayed as a man with a sort of jar of water, so this is the jar that it's holding, and here is the water coming out, and I actually really love how this turned out. I love the gradients that I managed to put on it, and I hope that you guys like it too. So the idea is just that it's wrapping around it, and I don't know, <laughs> yeah. And then it's just wearing this sort of toga-looking thing, because I thought it would look really cool. And yeah, um, another thing that I did was that I put these gems in the eyes. Uh, if you remember with Capricorn, it had green gems representing the element of Earth. And I thought white uh, would be a good, or a clear crystal would be a good one for the element of air, which Aquarius belongs to. So that's all I have to say about this one. And now I'm going to show you Pisces and talk through the concept for that one. So here goes. So as you can see, Pisces is going to be made from this really adorable, slightly newer LPS uh, fish. And with this one, I actually saw that the color that was associated with uh, Pisces, there were two colors, and those are sea green and lavender. Those are some very interesting colors, and I'm excited to come up with something cool with that. I'm thinking of maybe doing some sort of scale pattern here. Actually, now that I look at the LPS, I can see that it already has scales uh, here, so... I might try to incorporate some of those colors in that. And then the flowers that were associated with this one, there were actually several. But what I'm thinking is that I'm going to choose water lily out of all of those. I'm not entirely sure what it looks like, so I'm going to have to Google it. But either I'm going to choose water lily or violet. Um, and then there was a third flower that was also associated with Pisces, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But yeah, so I'm either going to try to incorporate a violet, which would actually probably look pretty good because lavender is one of the colors that is associated with Pisces, so it might look nice with that one, or then water lily if that looks cool. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I don't actually know what that looks like. But I'm definitely going to try to keep this one fairly simple. Uh, I am going to make it... I don't know, I'm going to incorporate something in it that makes it sort of mythical looking and cool, because I really want all of these zodiac costumes to be just super, super detailed and very, very cool, but I'm thinking of keeping the sculpted parts fairly simple with this one, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make something crazy with it, maybe I won't. If you guys have any ideas, especially if your zodiac sign is Pisces, please let me know what your preferences are, and I might take something into, into consideration. But yeah, I can't promise that I will, but I will definitely try. Uh, but yeah, that's actually all I had to say about these two customs. I'm really excited to show you guys how Pisces is gonna turn out. And if you want to see a time lapse of how I painted Aquarius, then you can check out the link in the description. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye!